changes. Hey, happy Halloween, everybody. October 31st, 2020, of course. And this gives me a great topic for a video. A lot of you ask this question all the time in the Facebook groups and out throughout the community. What effect do seasons and holidays have on whether you choose to sell a certain piece of merchandise or not? And so what I mean by that question and what a lot of you guys ask is do you list your Halloween stuff only like August, September, October, or do you list it after Halloween or do you put it away and save it for next year? And I think that's a fantastic question. It goes for things like Halloween and fall Thanksgiving, uh, of course Christmas, um, you know, Valentine's Day, all the major holidays that are celebrated here in this country, uh, at least for those of us in the US. And uh, should you only try to sell stuff during those days or do you think it's good to sell stuff all year round at any time? Um, as I go through this video, before you go any further, if you wanna pause it and comment down below and take your guess at what I'm gonna say, or put your comment down below what you think, and then you can watch the rest of this video here in a minute and then go back and reevaluate what I've said and your thought process. Uh, that would be awesome, because I'd love to hear what you guys think and your feelings on topics. Uh, and this is a great one, so thanks to everyone who asked it. So my thought process with seasonal stuff, and I'll try to take some pictures and put up some solds and, and whatnot and what have you on this, and I'll also cover this uh, as we go throughout the rest of the year, is that we sell stuff all year round. Now, there's two big plus sides to this, and then there's two, like, I guess you could call them negatives, but the negatives no way uh, outweigh the, pl the plus side. So obviously having something up all year round gives you a chance to sell it all year round versus only at one time of the year if you put it up. Now, some people get a little concerned because it takes up space in a store, it uses up free insertions, things like that. Um, it, to me, it, it really shouldn't matter. We always talk about if you know having an extra 50 or 100 items up uh, is costing you too much in insertion fees, you're probably not doing something right. Don't ever stop listing or using insertions or upgrading your store because you're too scared to spend money to get more stuff up. So don't ever let that stop you from posting stuff all year round simply because you don't wanna pay for an insertion or use any of your free ones. Don't worry about that. Trust me, it will work out. Um, so that's really like one concern people get, but having stuff up all year round is the biggest pro. Now, obviously the second pro to having, um, you know, stuff up all year round, you know, one, you can always find a buyer at any point. So you always have the chance to sell it, but also people look for things off holiday that they can get for a good price. And just because they're looking for a deal or a good price doesn't mean it's not a good profit for you. It just means they're looking for this. And so you could sell to that group of people that are always shopping. You know, my grandmother and aunt shop like, you know, the whole Christmas in July, they're done, if not beginning of the year. They're already shopping for next Christmas and the year before is Christmas. So uh, there are people that do that, that shop at these off times. And so that opens up a whole nother set of customers for you. Now the downsides, one I just told you about with the whole taking up list but also some people are scared that by selling a Halloween item in February or November, right after Halloween, you know, November, December, February, whatever, that they're not gonna get as much money as they could have by holding on to it and selling it during the holiday season. And that's true in some cases, you will get more money as it leads up to a holiday because people are more apt to spend more money on something, but there's no guarantee you're going to sell your item to begin with. So you have to be careful that the timing is right, but don't give up a sale based on wanting to sell it at the right time for the most amount of money and then you don't and now you're holding onto this inventory a whole other 12 months. Just get it up, get it priced fairly and sell it at a profit. I think this is a part of business that a lot of people um, just don't get. They have 24, 2,500 items and they're like, but I sold a pair of jeans for $60. I have this talk with Star all the time and I'm like, yeah, that's great. You're able to sell those jeans for $60, but it took you three months and all your other jeans are 60 bucks. Instead, you could have sold uh, you know, a pair of jeans a week for $40, and yeah, you made $20 less, but instead of selling one or two pairs in a couple months, you could have sold 10 pairs. I'd rather sell 10 $30 pairs for 300 than one or two $60 pairs for 120. Does that make sense? Don't get attached to that inventory, move it. Roll the inventory. Look, we're already selling a lot of us clothing and shoes and different things that are, are uh, longer tail and slower, you know, plush, this, that. 
just let the stuff go. It'd be great to sell, you know, Halloween items at $30 and you're going to sell a couple of them. Great. But you could have sold all the rest of them through the year for $15 and $20 and done $1,000 in Halloween sales versus $100. So always keep that in your mind. People sometimes call it the, the slow dime or the fast nickel. I don't think about it in those terms. I just think about it and I'm not attached. I'm not married to my inventory. So I'm just going to continue to roll it and sell it all year. The same thing goes for seasonal stuff. Let's talk about like, um, winter jackets and coats and, and uh, boots and mittens and things like that. First, it's right back to what I just said about selling stuff all year and always having that income and revenue moving in, uh, you know, and pushing the inventory. But also, it is summer where you are not, and it's winter where you are not on the flip side. So it's always summer and winter in different areas. And if you're open to global shipping to the GSP, or even if you do decide to ship internationally yourself to places like England, uh, Canada, where it's safe, uh, Australia, there's quite a few countries that I feel comfortable doing direct shipping international to. I tend not to do it, but it is safe. You know, I wouldn't want to ship directly to Russia, corrupt customs. South America is typically not the best customs, but places like Canada and England and uh, Australia and, and things like that are, are generally safe. Uh, but they're in the winter when we're in the summer or vice versa, summer and winter. And, you know, they have rainy seasons and we don't. And people in Seattle have rain all year round. And when you guys have snow in Minnesota, I'm sitting outside in the hot tub in Florida, at the lagoon, wherever. So you always have to think that just because where you are or what's going on right now isn't necessarily what's going on elsewhere. So keep that in mind when you are buying merchandise. It's another great thing to go to stores. A lot of people do it. They go to these after Thanksgiving, after Halloween, after Christmas sales, and they buy everything 75% off, you know, for a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, 50 cents, stack it all up, and then you put it back up on eBay or Amazon and make money all year round. I actually knew a guy here in Tampa, I think he watches the channel actually, um, who does that. Like literally he lives for the after holidays. He'll spend 10 grand after Christmas to buy up every Christmas decoration and Christmas tree and all this stuff. And he does very good. He turns that money within a month or two, he's already reselling that stuff and getting his money back and he's, he does very well with that. So it's not his whole business, but it's a big chunk of it. Uh, buying up, you know, after pool season closes, he buys up all these inflatable pool things and all. It does great, fantastic at it. I've never really been good at that. I've never really tried. I thought it was a lot of work, but it's, for some people it might work. So think about it uh, the next time, you know, as seasons and holidays come and go. Uh, so hopefully this video helps you and it gives you a little bit of ideas for those seasonals and Halloween. As always, I wanna hear your your input and your opinions and, and what you do and your selling and buying strategies and tactics as we go throughout these holidays and years. Hopefully this will give some of you guys some ideas to make a little more extra uh, money during uh, these post-holiday weeks and, and different things. So uh, always a good time. Uh, I don't believe in not selling items. I think it's stupid to box it up, shove it in the garage, hold on to it for a year. That's silly to me. Just get it up, get it listed. Wouldn't you rather have a 10,000 piece eBay store than a 1,000 piece because you got a bunch of crap piled in the garage? Of course you would, right? because you're going to sell more and make more money. Don't, don't hold on to stuff. I just think that's dumb. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys today. Appreciate you, as always, watching. I'll look for your comments below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to leave those. I do read them all, even if I don't respond to every single one, but I try my best. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and like it so that more people will be able to see it. The algorithm will pick it up, and a lot more people can learn from it. And as always, if you don't want to miss videos, you can hit that subscribe button and turn on the little bell, and you'll get noticed every time, or notified every time I put up a new video. Have a safe Halloween, everybody. Have fun. Uh, uh, let's see all the pictures of all the little kitties. You can post them out on social media and tag me, Instagram, tag me at Rockstar Flipper. I'd love to see all of them. And uh, hopefully everybody has a wonderful night and nothing crazy happens. Be nice, be chill. And all of you adults, drink responsibility. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good night. I'll see you next time.